just two changes in this one, both on the right-hand side. Rosenberry back into the lineup. Calvin Harris back into the lineup. That should provide a couple of changes there. Yarbrough gets his fourth consecutive start between the sticks. Beeson steps into that back line for the injured Bruno Wilson. To talk about, but it's worth mentioning as we get ready to get this one underway, waiting for the whistle there. Again, that's Malik Badawi, our referee tonight. And there is his first half whistle, a match day nine affair between the Quakes and visiting Colorado Rapids. One of the names at the top of that discussion, too, when it came to comments from Chris Armas. Giveaway at the back, Mihailovic immediately in. Navajo inside the area, tripped up by Yarbrough, and a point to the spot. To the giveaway at the back. And Navajo just in a perfect position, and it's tough to see from that angle exactly if there's where the contact happens. He's moving away from Yarbrough there. This will be the look right here. I don't know if that's a penalty. And now he's got to try and keep his former club from taking a lead on the road. So it looks like it'll stand. Navajo has already completed the job twice from the penalty spot. A little stutter step, and he makes it a third. Big time start for the Colorado Rapids here in Northern California. The Brazilian with his third from the penalty spot in 2024, and it's 1-0 Rapids. A long approach, but stops about halfway. Just trying to get Yarbrough to show his cards a little bit. And right before he strikes, Yarbrough goes. He goes the other direction. And just a clean finish. Fantastic start. Efficient start for Colorado here on the road, 1-0 down this near sideline and Morales will pick up the possession looking to spring out into some space for the Argentine Espinosa first touch out in front of Maxu cutting in onto his left foot Espinosa out in front of Obos he's still with a chance to keep it alive but he was in an offside position after the save from Zach Steffen he finds Pellegrino that means there's got to be openings in another part of the field Espinosa will turn did he get it off his feet in time Espinosa Espinosa going on his own and Steffen down on his left side to make the save. Back the other way for Colorado. 4v4. Mihailovic now 5v4, and the shot will go wide off of the right foot of Cole Bassett. Uh, and there you see the XG as of right now. Pellegrino, great positive touch, looking for the far side, and nearly the second touch to put it in that far corner. Couple of Laraz, Mihailovic, Mihailovic looking for the corner and it's Yarbrough again. A touch with the left paw. Rodriguez being the starter there. Chikaris coming back from injury. Espinosa, great ball. Backside, Pellegrino over the top of the bar. Also, who on the field is going to be able to look each other in the eye and see the matches out when you are in leading positions? Mihailovic with the fifth corner of the first half. Off the head of Cabral, out in front! Nearly tucked home by Cole Bassett. Last touch by San Jose. For a Amal Pellegrino just outside the penalty spot. And here's the delivery from Espinosa. Near post, and oh, just off the post. Acapo had a look. And there's questions of a handball. Yeah. Mihailovic standing over it. And he's got help. It will be Mihailovic driving in on the near post. A bit ambitious from the number 10. Mihailovic back onto his feet, and Colorado with a throw on the far touchline. Long throw into the near post, intended for Maxu. Here is Mihailovic one more time. Good ball out wide, numbers in the area for Colorado. In for Cole Bassett on the doorstep. Claims of a handball, but instead it's into the back of the net. Navajo the first time from the run of play. He opened the scoring in half number one from the penalty spot, and now right place, right time to double the lead for Colorado. Harris on this clearance just before this, wasn't able to clear the lines, and then look at three players against two. On then, then I would understand that. But the reality is, is they've given up 12 points from leading positions this year. It's gained. Quick shot, and Stefan with the save. And so that's something different, right? Next weekend to host Jesus Ferreira and FC Dallas. You can watch that game Saturday. April the 20th, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on MLS Season Pass. Shot off the crossbar! And guess who? Yeah, we've been talking about you guys. Look at that first touch, a little bit away from him. Second touch cleans it up and just drops his head down, strikes that so well.
Bassett. Bassett. Bassett! It's three for Colorado! The 22-year-old Denver native found the back of the net. Right foot, right foot to his left. Just way too much space on top of the box in the middle. Can go either direction. Hard to retrieve the possession for the Earthquakes. Judd, the intended target again. Backside, Espinosa. Side volley right into traffic and eventually deflected out. That's great in a lot of ways, but you'd love to see it consistently like this, putting up stats that are important to helping the team get results. To your post ball, Stefan will shut it down. Yule, wide throw to Sandy Buda. Bending ball, and Stefan had to make sure. No, oh, I know the team's up a lot, but they haven't had that yet this year. You want to finish out the game strong. You want to set that discipline as the next goal. Bending ball, Stefan. Again, I think he got a fingertip touch to it, but it also came off the crossbar. Doesn't even really drop the shoulder, just gets it. A look there, just clipped to the back post. Rapids throwing everything they can defensively to try and get it out of the 18. A capo now. Yule, good ball into the back post. And it's Rodriguez heading it over the bar. We're through the five minutes of stoppage time. And there is the final whistle from Malik Badawi bringing the night to a close. Zach Steffen, it's been more than five years